Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we are is we're near the village of Ballantoy. And you can see the lovely scenery here. Absolutely beautiful. But where we are is we're actually outside Ballantoy Parish Church. And it's a whitewashed church. It's absolutely adorable, isn't it? There's something about the white white whitewashed churches, they're, they just look lovely. And then you can see a wee poster there of it. And it says there, Ballantoy Parish Church Restoration Project. And it says here, Church of Ireland, Ballantoy Parish Church. And there's a connection here, believe it or believe it not, with Ballantoy and Downing Street in London. So uh, stay tuned with a wee video here and I will reveal all to you. But before we do that, I want to show you some stones. And there's some stones here I'm going to show you from the 18th century. And there's actually one from the 17th century and then I'm also going to show you the minister's grave who had this uh, church erected and I'm also going to show you some lovely scenery around the back of the church but we're going to start off with this one here and this is the Stuart monument you can see the angel there in the coat of arms and uh, it says here left the body of Alexander Stewart who departed this life October 20th 1723 and he was age 78 and then it goes on down and there's another date there at the bottom which is 1760 I'm not sure what it is but it's 1760 something Maybe a six or a four, I'm not too sure. But that's the Stuart Monument. Pretty cool, isn't it? But there's another grave here that I want to show you, which is even older, which is from the 17th century. So, pretty amazing. And it's just over here. If I can get down here. And it's the grave of James McKinley. And it's the oldest grave in this graveyard. Now there's older 17th century monuments inside, but this is the oldest in the graveyard. So it's of James McKinley and it's 1696. And it's this one here. Brilliant, isn't it? So this is from 1696, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely brilliant. And hopefully you'll be able to see that. You can see it. You can see this better actually with a wee drop of rain on it. So hopefully you'll be able to see the 1696 there. If I can get it for you. So there's a 16. And there's a 96. So that's James McKinley's grave. And uh that's the oldest monument in the graveyard itself. And he was buried here in the 17th century. So absolutely amazing. Now there's another stone here. And this is from the 18th century. It's Angus, somebody who died. Well, you can see the 1740. That's, that's plain. So that's from the 18th century. And there's a monument here I'm going to show you as well. And there's a lot of the, the squires or, you know, well-to-do people. The lords, the gentry, who are buried in this graveyard. So you can see a crest there. And there as well. And this is in memory of 
Ellen, and she was the beloved wife of John Dixon, uh, the castle, Ballantoy, and she died 14th of May, 1893, aged 65 years, and then John Dixon died for 24th January, 1894, aged 72 years, and uh, then it goes on. You can see the date there for the monument, which is 18. 77. So, a lot of good monuments in this graveyard. And I'm going to show you the minister's grave who had this church built. But before I do that, I want to show you another old grave on the way. Beautiful scenery, isn't it? And this is from the 18th century as well. Here left the body of James McCurdy of Ballantoy, who departed June the 11th, and it's 1793, aged 28 years, if you can see that. 1793 so that's from the 18th century as well but this is the minister's grave the reverend trail and it was the reverend trail who had this church built in 1813 which is pretty amazing and the writing on this grave is fantastic you can make it out no problem so Zoom in a wee bit of a can for you with that. Underneath are deposited the remains of the Reverend Robert Trail, who was for 66 years rector of Ballantoy. He died at Mount Druid on the 5th of June 1842, in the 80th year of his age. So that's some monument, isn't it? And well marked. And of course, it was him that had this church built in 18. Uh, 13. So this white church then replaced an earlier church and as I say it was completed then in 1813 under the Reverend Robert Trail and the roof was actually damaged in a hurricane in December 1894 because we're right by the sea here don't forget and uh, certainly the winds down here by the sea can be very very strong. Um, I was here last night and it would have near blew you off the cliff. And the first recorded minister of the old church was James Blur who served here in 1635. And then in 1641 during the Re Irish rebellion members of the parish and other local Protestant settlers came under attack from a group of insurgents led by James McCool MacDonald and so they took refuge not only in the castle but actually also in the church as well the old church and uh, they were able to hold out for four months with the help believe it or believe it not of a priest because the priest actually assisted, assisted them covertly uh, with food and supplies until military relief arrived under Lord Andrum in 1642. So that's amazing, isn't it? Fantastic. And there's a memorial here too that I'm going to mention. And as I say, a lot of the gentry are buried in this graveyard. So you can see the crest there. And then it says, McCartney of Macra Castle. It's Samuel and his son, Andrew. And Samuel was born the 20th of May, 1748. And he died the 3rd of April, 1820. And Andrew was born the 12th of June, 1778. And he died the 3rd of January, 1847. And then it goes on with other members of the family. Now, 
There's another memorial here, but it's, I, I, it's some of the writings. I don't know how you pronounce some of this, so you can have a guess yourself at it. But it's like Samuel something. And then it's William, you can make that part out, and then it says April 1733. So you can definitely make the, the date out. And I'm going to let you see inside there, because I always like to have a wee look in. If we can't get in, you know. You can see the tile floor there. That's the stairs, take you up top. See the wee floors. So, Ballantoy Castle, because there was a castle at Ballantoy at one time, and the castle was actually left to Catherine Fullerton by her uncle. And she married a guy called Dawson Downing of London Day. And interestingly enough, a close ancestor of Catherine's husband, Sir George Downing, who held property in London, gave his name to the street that now holds the seat of British power. And of course that seat is Downing Street. And that's where the Prime Minister's residence is. Number 10, Downing Street. Now Ballantyne Castle was dis dis disassembled in 1795, so it's not here no more. But uh, certainly a fantastic church. There's no doubt about it. And there's another wee thing that I want to show you. And then we're going to wrap this wee video up. And I'm going to do a few more videos here. So uh, stay tuned for that. When I was in Billy Graveyard, there was a couple of graves of two soldiers, two sailors actually, on the raccoon. And they died in uh, 1918 when the ship sunk. And there's actually, a fair, I've come across a few more of those sailors who were on that boat as well. So I'm going to do a wee video on them, because they're buried here as well. But this is what I want to show you. Look at the lovely scenery you have here. So you've got the church, the White Voice Church. You have the cliffs there. You have the sea. And then you have this here. Isn't that incredible? Absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this wee video. I certainly have enjoyed my church history holiday. Um, just beyond the the wee island there, Rocky Island, you can actually see white, and that's more white cliffs along what well, I think is the coast there. So there you go. So thanks for watching and God bless.